After the smoke cleared, I stood in the battlefield, littered with broken thorny stems and crushed purple rose petals on a ground saturated by violent tear shed. The smell of burning books in my favorite skirt stung my nostrils. Torn painting stole my hope until I saw a bush of deep purple roses from across the way and barefoot dreams held between the leaves. I walked towards the bush, past the fallen soldiers, I outpowered. I walked on the ground stained with their blood. My royal red carpet, their amputated hands, can't touch me anymore. I went to the rose bush, kneeled down in the soil, beholding my barefoot dreams. I saw the girl, her white bows and plaited hair. Finally, visions of my womanhood are coming true. My, I've come such a long way from when. They said black girls from East Oakland are supposed to be tough. Daintiness is not an option. Feeling pain is not an option. They said my sensitivity was on some white girl shit. And black women don't have time to be depressed. Bright colors and pastels aren't an option on dark skin. Beauty is not an option for dark girls. Stay your crow colored ass out the sun. But my darkness absorbs all that is light and warmth, and the sun just wants to share with me. I fought the world to embrace myself, and I purged the poisonous messages in my brain that said my love for dresses and makeup and pretty things was wrong for girls like me. I purged poisonous messages that said the women who look like me are never loved. Thank God truth set me free. So Jonah Truth asked, ain't I a woman? And then she looked at me and said, sister, ain't you a woman? Well, hell yeah. <laughs> I gave myself permission to be my definition of woman. What an act of love. Truth cured me. Truth set me free. I fought the world to embrace those warm feelings from my center, the ones that feel like flying comets traveling throughout every part of your body and bursting into a glorious orange light. Sexual feelings weren't an option for a Catholic school girl from a Baptist family like me. Liking boys before marriage wasn't an option. Baby girl, stick to those books in the Bible. Stay out your flesh. Thank God writers put naughty stuff in books. <laughs> Thank God black women write erotica and romance. And I had to purge the poison again. Lord delivered me. Audre Lorde said women have power in the erotic. And I gave myself permission to bring passion and pleasure to all areas of my life and to connect spirit to my body. Lord delivered me. Lord delivered me from shameful feelings. And God never stopped loving me. <laughs>